Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Caleb and in this video I want to talk about analytic groups in YouTube Analytics. So um, for those of you who create YouTube content, the analytics are very important. They are the metrics or the uh, graphs and all the charts that tell you how your videos are being viewed, how, how much time is being spent on them, how many subscribers you gain from them, how much money you are making, um, what countries view your videos the most, traffic sources, and there's a ton of other information that is accessed that, that you can see through um, analytics. So the first thing, when you go to analytics, it will tell you your monthly, on average, your monthly views, minutes watched, earnings, likes, dislikes, comments, shares, favorites, and subscribers. So this is basically in the last period. So from the day that the last analytic update, in this case December 7th, all the way back to November 8th. So about 30 days, it'll tell you how many views and all that you've received. Well, this is important so you can tell if you're growing or if you're not growing. And then you'll see these green arrows or red arrows, which will tell you if you're either growing or not growing. So if you can see my views, 23% increase compared to the previous period. And a period is just a period of 30 days. You're not supposed to define words with the, def the word indefinite. Anyways, a period is the 30 days before the current 30 days you're looking at. So from October 9th to November 7th, I received 23% less views than I have from November 8th to December 7th. So let me just write some numbers down. It's important to look at these. So yeah, gonna get my whiteboard out here. We have 19668. So just to make it easy, we're going to use 20,000. So this, this is the number of views that I've received this month. All right. Now, if you look at my total views, lifetime views, that's 19,500. I'm sorry, <laughs> 195,100. Well, just to make math easy, we're going to use 200,000. So this is sort of like saying, in the last period, I've received 10% of all of my views and I know these aren't completely accurate because I've changed the numbers well when you're using analytic groups you can tell what series or what types of videos help contribute to your total amount of views your estimated earnings and estimated minutes watch and all of all of that stuff so to look at your groups there's a groups button up here where we can browse all groups and I've already created groups so I'm going to show you how it works so one of my rather successful series is my database design series and it will tell you the performance of the series in the last 30 days so you can see most of my stuff is going down I'm not receiving as much as many views this period as I did last period but that's okay that that can happen naturally so for this this video series I've earned 3215 video views so this is for this specific period, out of a total of 2,000. So if we get a calculator out, uh, let me see if I can do this right. 20,000, it'd be um, that'd be the other way around. So 3215 divided by 20,000. You can say it's 16 percent of my monthly views, and you can also tell from how you can see a uh, group size 25 that means there's 25 videos within this group and then you can further um, multiply this per multiply this by 100 to make it a percent and then you can divide that by 25 and you can say that each video is 0.64 percent of my total monthly views or an easier way to look at this is you can take your total views for this series divide that by 25 and you'll see that on average each video gets 128 views per month each video in that series so 25 well that's pretty good now I can look at my other groups 
and I'm going to look at my PHP series. Give it some time to load. Okay, as you can see, the views are going up. Everything is going up. So this one is on the uprising, but overall it is not performing as well as my database design series. You can see it has 1,893 views. And we can tell the percentage of that if we want, but I'm just going to um, just figure out how many views each video receives. So to do that, 1893 divided by um, group size 39. Each video receives approximately 48 views per month. So that's good. And um, so you can tell, on average, my database design is over, over twice as successful as my PHP series. Now you do have to keep in mind that my PHP series is rather new. I just started uploading these videos last month or so. So this one, the top one that is, may have more recognition. But over time, you can take these numbers to, so let's say, this is a year from now. This is the same results we get. Well, then I know that, oh, okay. This series is in higher demand, which was the database design. I'm just going to put double D. <laughs> Anyways, you can say that it's in higher demand compared to my PHP series. So this can help guide the future of your um, video series or what content you produce. I just hit myself in the face. Um, so that way you know, okay, I want to get more views or I want to get more likes or whatever. You can figure out what type of video series is going to be the best for you. So let me show you another one of my most successful, MySQL. So this series has a total of, um, I'm just going to write this right here. I'm just going to erase these. 9,000. Camera a little more. 9,000. Um, 128. And then to figure out how much each video makes, we can take that number. 9,128 and divide that by group size 67. And you can say each video has 136 views per month. So that is, that's, that's my most successful series. So that way I know, all right, databasing and MySQL are in high demand compared to PHP or even worse, HTML and CSS. So if I look at that series, which I did very quickly, I mean, I'm sure I could make a better one if I wanted to. Um, this one is quite less successful. And I'm like dying of thirst right now. Let's see if it'll load here. Alright, apparently it does not want to load. But anyways, I get on average 800 views a month from this series with a total of 55 videos. So the average viewing is like very low per video. So I understand that, okay, Database programming is in more demand than HTML and CSS. And I'm guessing that's because um, database design is a more advanced topic. A lot of people can go on YouTube and create HTML and CSS tutorials. But not nearly as many people can go on there and create a, a complete database design series because it's more complicated, less people know how to do it, and it takes more effort. So, yes, the HTML series was easier for me, to, for me to create. I created it in a few days. Well, the um, database design series brought me more feedback, likes, views, and so forth. Now, another thing you can do with this is once you figure out uh, your series are separate, I mean, once you separate out your series, you can calculate from your total views and how much money you make, on average, how many dollars or how much money each video can bring you so you know what videos are successful for bringing money. So I know um, 
just because you have a lot of views in a series does not mean that it's going to bring you a lot of money. So, uh, let me say, uh, music theory, for example, it brings me a decent amount of views, like almost 3,000 a month. But the amount of money it brings me per month is substantially lower than my database design series. That's because the database design is a higher, uh, more valuable marketing area for advertisers. People pay more to advertise databasing content rather than what people pay to post music content. So when people pay for advertising, they're going to be paying more for databases, computer-related um, server-side garbage versus music theory. That why, that's, what, that's how I know that if I want to make more money, I'm going to figure out which series has the highest RPM, which is rate per thousand, and then I'm going to create more of that content and see how it goes. So in order to create a group, we can go to create video group, and I'll just say, I'll just give you an example. I just made a few videos over the Logitech C920, and what I'm going to do is search C920. Actually, they're all right there at the top, so let me just... Uh, Let me retry this. Group, create video group. Alright, so now I can add my Logitech C920 videos. And then I'll go over here into the group. There's five videos. For some reason, there's six over here. I don't know. Anyways, we click save. And since these are new, they're not going to have a ton of views, obviously. But I can see I've received 145 views. And now for future reference, I can figure out, oh, did people like this type of content? If so, make more. If so, if not, don't make more. So yeah, you can use this to help guide the future of your business. And then um, you can compare this stuff to your overall rating. So you just click Analytics. And it's going to give you the overview of everything. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully that was helpful in some way. Possibly, probably not. But yeah, thank you and subscribe.